Hi, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to Building Your Path to Success. On this channel, I like to share a lot of information in short periods of time for high school and college students so that they can build a meaningful resume that separates them from the pack. If you like this type of information, please support the channel by giving me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell so that you can be notified the next time a video comes out. Let's jump right into this. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, internships, co-ops, fellowships for summer of 2024. That's right. You heard it. Summer of 2024. Basically, the deadline is coming up. So let's jump into this so that if you're interested, you have sufficient amount of time. And remember, this is only mid-May, mid-May of 2023. The deadline is coming up for most of the programs. So we're going to, today we're going to review a few of the different types of student programs, the application window, and who is eligible. So let's jump into this. With the CIA, they have a few different types of fellowship programs. I am going to leave the link in the description below because there's so much information. There's no way I can really review everything. I'm just trying to get you um, the basic information. And if you're interested, you'll be able to do a little bit more digging because I'm going to leave that link. One type, well, the different types of fellowship programs that they have is one for minority serving institutions, another which is a scholarship program. They have a few different um, undergraduate programs and then they have a, a graduate program. So those are the different types of fellowship programs that the CIA is offering. Let's start off with the minority serving institutions. This is what you're gonna, this is where your um, HBCUs are gonna come in place your Native American institutions, they're gonna fall under the Minority Servicing Institution Program. That doesn't mean you can't apply for a different type of fellowship, but here some positions are carved out for students who attend minority serving institutions. So if you're gonna do one under the Minority Serving Institution, it must be a four-year institution that's accredited. And again, um, that's going to include your HBCUs and your Native American colleges. There is a list of all the participating colleges that qualify, um, and that's on the website as well. This is a paid experience, and you're going to so you're not going to just get paid, but you're going to get some professional development. And this is for both undergraduate and graduate students who are at um, are about to enter. Uh, a minority servicing institution. So if you are graduating high school and you're about to go into a minority serving institution, or if you are uh, about to go into a graduate school at one, these things could qualify. Of course, it's not gonna just be there, but that's, that's the start. Again, you will be paid for this. Uh, you, if you are undergraduate student, they want you to work, now um, they want you to work two 90-day sessions. That's like two summers. You only have to require to do one, but they're asking that if you could do two. If you are a graduate school student, because graduate school is shorter than undergraduate, you must work at least, you must work the one 90-day session. So you have to make sure you do it in enough time that you can work that and then return back. Often you have to return back to your institution for like another semester before graduation. For the scholarship program, um, you must attend an accredited university as well for undergraduate or graduate student. And with the scholarship program, you could get up to $25,000 in tuition assistance. And I believe you still get paid for this program as well. The difference is with the scholarship program for every um, year of tuition assistance, you owe back to the CIA a year and a half. So if you only get tuition assistance that one year, you owe them a year and a half when you graduate. If you get a tuition assistance two years, you're going to owe them back three years after graduation. Uh, I do want to say specifically 
for the scholarship program. The deadline for summer of 2024 is June 30th. The deadline specifically for the CIA scholarship program is June 30th for summer of 2024. With all of the other fellowship programs, the one for the minority servicing institutions, the internships, co-ops that we're about to go into, they want you to do it about a year before you plan to do, go. Um, so it takes six to 12 months for you to go through the security clearances, for you to go through the medical uh, clearances. It's an extensive process. So basically, while the scholarship program has that flat deadline of June 30th, it would be my recommendation that everyone else sticks to that June 30th deadline as well. Because like I say, it takes six to 12 months. If you have the luck I have, you better err on the side of the 12 months. Okay, then they have for the undergraduate programs, an internship in a co-op, as well as a graduate program. Out of all these fellowships, they're all wonderful. Uh, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of security things they must go, go through. It is a long process. If you think that you're interested in the CIA, I suggest that you jump on, do your research now. I also want to add, um, coming up in a few months will be the one for the FBI. Different timeline, a little bit different program, but still, you need to be preparing for summer 2024. We haven't even begun summer 2023. Col undergraduate colleges are just getting out. It's mid-May. Graduations are happening. And right now, deadlines for summer 2024 are starting to roll in. I'm just giving anybody that heads up if you're in college and um, you want to start getting ready. Again, if you like this type of information, please support the channel by giving me that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know if it's something particular that you're looking for. I wish everyone well. Um, again, June 30th for the scholarship one is the deadline. And for any of the other fellowships, I suggest that you um, try to stick to that June 30th deadline as well. Until next time, take care.